My name is Luigi and this is The Brick Connection. We are going to be building the mini Steamboat Willy item number 40659 and honestly I got a lot of thoughts on this one. But as always I'm going to wait till the end of the video to share my overall thoughts and opinions so make sure to stick around. The mini Steamboat Willy was a gift available with purchase if you can call it that. The set was only available from October 23rd to the 31st so not a long time. And like I said, because this was a gift available with purchase, you first had to spend $140 Canadian to only then be allowed to purchase the gift for an additional $34.99 Canadian. You can see where a lot of my opinions are going to be going on this one, but I digress. The set has 424 pieces, one minifig, and is a part of the Disney 100 collection. But that's enough talking. Let's get building. On November 18, 1928, Mickey Mouse made his film debut in the short animated film Steamboat Willie. The movie was 7 minutes long in black and white and the movie was produced by Walt Disney and Ub Iwerks. The movie cost just shy of 5,000 USD to produce and when adjusted for inflation that would be just north of 88,000 in today's money. The movie was an instant success and held and still does hold incredibly positive reviews. It not only launched Walt Disney into an international success, but Mickey as well. It is often celebrated as the first synchronized sound cartoon, and while it wasn't the first animated film to use sound, it was one of the earliest and most successful, introducing synchronized sound and music into animation. Like I had mentioned, Steamboat Willie marked the official debut of Mickey Mouse, who was created by Walt Disney and Ub Iwerks. This lovable mouse character would go on to become one of the most recognizable and beloved animated characters in history. And November 18, 1928 is often considered Mickey's official birthday. The film was inspired and parodied the 1928 Buster Keaton silent film Steamboat Bill Jr. Many of the gags and scenes in Steamboat Willie were a playful homage to Keaton's work. The film's soundtrack included a score that featured popular music of the era, adding to the overall entertainment value. Steamboat Willie is not only an important milestone in the history of animation, but also the beginning of Disney Empire and the enduring legacy of Mickey Mouse. Well there you have it, the mini Steamboat Willie, and honestly I have no idea how to feel about this set. I got a real love-hate relationship going on with this thing. Look, a lot of the hate, in all fairness, has nothing to do with the actual builder set, and mostly about LEGO and the way that they released this thing. Now look, I love a gift with purchase as much as the next LEGO fan, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I think there are a few points that are worth mentioning here. First, this is a fairly substantial set. I don't think it needed to be released as a gift with purchase. I think it is good enough that it could have been released as a regular set in its own right. This is now the second time in my opinion that LEGO has released a gift with purchase set that I believe would have been better suited to just being available for regular purchase. The first being the Magic Maze. This is a part of the LEGO Disney 100 collection, which means I feel a lot more strongly about this than the regular LEGO fan is going to. My goal is to try to get my hands on most, if not all, of the LEGO Disney 100 collection. And a gift will purchase just makes this whole thing a little bit harder and just feels like a way for LEGO to squeeze a few more dollars out of us on top of an absolutely ridiculous release schedule of nine days. I mean, I wasn't even able to get my hands on this set. The only reason I have this is because of the absolute kindness of one of my very good friends who gifted me this set because he knew how much I wanted it. Now let's talk about the actual set. I really do love this set. Yes, there are some shortcomings here, but I think overall, this is a great set. And look, I know it's gonna be really easy to wanna to compare this to the Steamboat Willie item number 21317 that was released back in April of 2019 for $119 Canadian. Now that was an amazing value proposition with a tremendous amount of detail, but I don't think it would be totally fair to compare them. Even though they're both Steamboat Willie sets, this is a mini set and our expectations of this set have to be adjusted. One of the biggest shortcomings of this set is the value proposition. Because it was not released as a normal set, I have no idea what the value proposition on this set is going to be. So I will try to keep that in mind when I give my opinion on this. Now look, this isn't a super detailed set and it's not supposed to be. This is a mini set. I think that they do two things really well here. A, it captures the inspiration 
beautifully. It's a really cute set. Two, honestly, for such a small set, there are some really fun building techniques here. Specifically, how they use a few Technic pieces to get the funnels here to move up and down like in the movie. Now, I am truly happy I got this set, and I do feel really bad for all the LEGO Disney fans who wanted to get their hands on this set. But look, after building it, inspecting it, and overall loving it, I can also admit that, look, I'm a Disney fan which means that I'm gonna to be totally biased in this build. And trying to remove that bias, I can also admit that look, because this was a giftful purchase, Lego didn't have to pull out all the stops. If this was a regular set available for regular purchase, well look, Lego would have had to do a few more tweaking to get this thing up to par and the standard that I think we all know that it could have been at. But I wanna know what you think down below. Are you like me and have mixed feelings about this set or do you have a more concrete opinion? Now, if you enjoyed this video and don't have mixed feelings about it, a like and a sub would be honestly greatly appreciated. Until next time, I'm Luigi, and this is The Brick Connection.